Hey guys, welcome to The See or Not To See, and today we're here to talk about the movie that I almost walked out on. This is the first movie that I've ever done that. You know why? Because it was boring! Ah, uh, Dirty Grandpa, oh my god. What a waste of Zac Efron and Robert De Niro. I mean, I don't even care about Zac Efron, I really don't. I never really cared for him, I always thought he was just one of those actors that was just like, kind of like Channing Tatum, he was just around, I never really cared about him, never went out of my way to see him. But the fact that they wasted Robert De Niro in this movie, is just... Is what pisses me off the most. You wasted a, such a great actor when you could add such a funny movie with this, and they didn't. That's because like there's like there's zero wit in the humor. There really is. There's like zero writing. We're just gonna dive right in here. There's zero wit or anything in the writing. It's like you're probably gonna say to me before I go on. I'm just gonna say like I love rom coms. I think that they're hilarious. So you just don't think that I'm a film snob, but they still gotta have a little bit of wit to them. Not much, but like enough to make you care about the characters and make you want to enjoy the movie. There is none in this movie. I mean, there's just, like, literally, like, I don't even remember most of the story. I just kept looking at my watch the entire time, like, okay, when's this movie going to end? When this When's this movie going to end? It needed to stop, and it just didn't. It was just in your face, like, ha, ha, we're funny, ha, ha, we're funny, ha, ha, we're funny. When it wasn't funny, it was just stupid. It was just bad. Okay, so I guess I should go over the basic plot. Okay, like, Zac Efron is, like, Robert De Niro's grandson. They want to go on a road trip in the movie. Big freaking deal. I mean, it's like every other rom-com comedy movie like this. I never thought that, like, when I first saw the previews of this movie, I thought, okay, it's gonna be bad, but it's still gonna be enjoyable. It has to be. I mean, how bad could they screw this up? <laughs> oh my god, I never thought that I'd say this, but this movie was so boring. It was so boring. It just failed to entertain me on all levels. It just, it sucked! It really did. It just sucked. That's all I can say. It was terrible. I mean, there's just nothing enjoyable about this movie. I feel like the writers for this movie, like, took something from Sex McFarlane that I always have hated. And I mentioned this in my TED 2 review, that whenever he finds a joke that works the first time, you get a chuckle out of it. It just keeps going and going, and they just beat it to death. That is this entire movie. It's just like sex joke upon sex joke upon sex joke, and none of them work. None of them work at all. And then there's characters that are just so annoying that come around that you're just like, please leave. Please leave. I mean, my God, why do you keep coming back? It's not funny. It's just, oh my God, I just cannot explain to you how much I hated this movie. It just was terrible. I mean, it's just like, it's the definition of a January comedy because January comedies are like the worst. January is like the Monday of the year it seems like for movies. It's just terrible. I was like oh my god you couldn't do better? You seriously could not do better. It's every single movie that you've ever seen. I can guarantee you go watch the movie Bad Grandpa. That is such a funnier movie than this. Than this. This, this, this shit. Don't go see it. Don't go see it at all. This is the first movie I almost walked out of. And, you know, I've seen some shit. I have seen some shit. That's why I definitely give this movie a not to see because that's all it is is shit. It's not good. It's not well written. It's just terrible. I seriously, like when I seen some other internet critics giving it like slightly positive reviews, I was like, what the hell was wrong? Did we watch the same movie? It's just ridiculous, and plus they wasted a good Danny Glover cameo. I mean, how dare you? How freaking dare you, movie? Oh! So anyway, that's it for me. As always, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The links are in the description below. And remember, I waste my money so you don't have to. Thanks for watching.